I rescued a rabid fox from my friend's neighborhood. So, oh, he's starting to move. I wasn't expecting this. I Oh no, he's up the fence. He's up the fence. After him, he's gonna go under the shed. I know it. All right, we're gonna grab him in three, two, one. Grab him, okay. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for today's video, well if you saw the title and thumbnail, today's video was absolutely insane. But not only is it insane, but it's gonna be a little bit different from all my other videos because I'm gonna be narrating it and be voice overing the whole video because I didn't realize it until after, but all the footage has no audio. My mic broke, I had to get a new mic and I had no idea so I filmed this whole video and I have no audio, but the video is way too cool to not post, so I decided I'm going to do a voiceover. It should come out pretty dang good. So if you guys saw the title and thumbnail, well, you will know that I rescued a rabid fox from my friend's neighborhood. I got a call at 8.30 in the morning. My friend said, hey, there's a fox. He's running around the neighborhood, but he's acting very strange. He looks like he's poisoned. He's acting drunk. He's falling over. So I knew that this could only be one of two things. The, the fox was either one, poisoned poisoned or two he had distemper which is a canine virus which ultimately leads to the animal's death i immediately hopped out of bed jumped in the car shot over there and well you guys are not going to believe what happened we ran around we caught the fox and well that is all i'm going to tell you guys so if you want to see more of this fox rescue you want to know where this fox is now if he's alive if he made it if he had to be put down well guys you are in the right place and we're going to hop right into today's fox rescue all right, guys, we made it. We're here, and this fox is in the backyard. It should be a pretty easy catch. Um, he's just laying right down under the tree right now, so we're just going to try and make a slow approach to him, walk up, and hopefully grab him and make this an easy, quick one, two, three. Let's go. Let's get to it. Oh, he's up. He's walking. So we're just going to kind of walk up to him. He's all wobbly. He looks like he's almost a little bit out of sorts right now but we're gonna walk up on him you can see this fox is not supposed to be acting like that he should be away sleeping during the day so oh he's starting to move I wasn't expecting this I <laughs> I don't have my net or my catch pole with me so I don't want to get bit because this guy could have rabies if he's got rabies then well uh, I could be going to the hospital he's on the run all right hey close the gate close the gate all right, shouldn't be too hard. He's trapped here in the backyard. Come here, buddy. Hey, man, I just want to help you out. Come here, dude. Come here, man. All right, all right, nope. Don't run away, buddy. Come here, I'm just trying, oh, come on, man. Come here. He's running, he's going. Oh no, he's up the fence, he's up the fence. All right, okay, um, he is much more active than I thought he was gonna be. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop the fence right now. I'm gonna hop it, one, two, all right, now. All right, I'm gonna hop it, all right. All right, let, 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 let me run after him. All right, I'm going. Let's get him. All right, he's under this truck right now, and good thing Kelly brought the net, because without Kelly's net, um, this is going to be a little bit difficult. So I'm going to go from one side. Kelly, you go to the next. He's on this back side, all right? So you go on the inside by the fence. I'm going to go this way, but he's, he's under here right now, and he's trapped. So we don't want him to go into this person's backyard. We want to keep this... Um, as easy as possible and and as stress-free as possible for the fox but he's under here you can see him he's right here on the side of the truck right now all right um all right kelly come in you come right over here walk walk on the inside of the truck right here go on this inside part right here okay walk on the inside and and, and gently walk up to the fox and, and i'll tell you when but you're, you're gonna need to kind of spook him my way just a little bit okay he's here this should be pretty easy to do. Okay, all right. He's uh, in the backyard now. He made a bolt for it, so we got to try to get in the backyard now. We got little Scruffy, the neighbor's dog, in the backyard. And uh, ma'am, hi. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, there's a fox right here by your boat. You might want to, you might want to grab your little Scruffy dog right here, so we can, we can catch him. He might have rabies, so he could give both you and your dog rabies. So, ma'am, please grab your dog and uh, let us in your yard. We want to catch this guy. We want to give him some help. All righty. Thank you, thank you. All right, you've got your doggy. Good, good, good. All right, we're heading in. Now he's right on the underside of the boat, on the back part, right by the motors, right by the transom. I see him. Now it looks like he's having almost a, 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 a seizure right now. So Kelly, you go on the back side, okay? All right, this should be pretty easy. He's enclosed in the backyard, but honestly, this is turning out to be way harder than I um, originally anticipated. All right, here he is. Oh, he's moving, okay. All right, we gotta run. We're running after him. He's gonna go under the shed. I know it. Okay. He didn't make it under the shed, but he just went under the planter box. He's under the planters. He's under the planter box. Okay. Look under. He's under the planter box right now. Okay. 
Okay, Kelly, keep an eye on him. I might need to grab this pipe right here. All right, he's running. He's under the shed right now, and normally when foxes go under the shed, oh, he's out. He's he's out from the shed. He's running in the yard. He's in the corner now. We don't want him to run. We don't want him to run up. He's running away. All right, we gotta run, run, run. He's going back by the boat, back by the fence where he could get out. Okay, okay. Oh my! All right, we just missed him. Okay, okay. He's running. He's back under. He's going back by the shed again. All right, we're running. We're running. Okay, okay. We're running up by him. I'm a little lightheaded right now. This is first thing in the morning. I've just woken up, and he, he's running off again. I'm chasing him, feeling a little winded right now. I haven't had anything to eat, not even a water this morning. Okay, starting to feel a little uneasy right now. Okay, where are you, buddy? Come here, he's back onto the boat. Come here, man. Okay, I just wanna help you, buddy. I just wanna help you. You're under the boat. Now just come to me, buddy. Come to me. Okay, come here. I know, just take a rest. We just wanna help you out, buddy. There's no need to run. There's no need to hide. Come here, buddy. Come here. And, all right, it looks like looks like he's about to, to bolt for it again. It looks like he's about to take another move. He's running. No, 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 no. He's up at the fence. He's up at the fence. I've almost got him. Oh, no. He's on the move again. He's on the prowl. He's on the move. He's running. All right, we got to take Alf after him. We don't want him to get hit by a car. He could easily run in front of a moving car, and that'd be the end of him. But we got to run after him. We're running. Oh no, my, oh, I just fell. I just fell. All right, we're chasing after him. He just ran into these to, into these people's plants right here. Now he's gonna be hiding up under the plants where he feels safe, up behind this brick wall right here. Okay, we're going up by him. All right, I hear him. He's rustling in the leaves. I can just hear him right now, and I can hear him, but I can't see him. But if we just walk closely, we can kind of hear where he is. All right, so. I don't really see him. I can just hear him moving around now. I'm not gonna walk in the bushes. I think I'm gonna go around. Kelly, you stay here. You stay here and I'm gonna I'm gonna go up by the front door and you stay right here. Make sure he doesn't run away. So I'm gonna try and, and lure him. I'm gonna try and distract him right now, okay? I can't see him, but the, the, the bushes, they're moving. Okay, okay, all right. He's coming out, he's coming out, he's coming. All right, I got him, I got him. He's in the net, come around, Kelly. We got him. All right, we're going to grab him in three, two, one. Grab him. Okay. We got him. We got him. Mission accomplished, baby. Okay. This is exactly what we wanted. We caught the fox. Now, he's definitely lethargic. He should be kicking around. Now, we want to look at his teeth because if he has this distemper, we want to see if his teeth are a little rotten, if they're not doing too well. So, we caught him in the net right now. And we just want to keep a firm grasp on him because if he bites me, well, I'm definitely going to have to go get some rabies shot. So... Look at this. Look at this guy right here. Beautiful fox and well, we got him, baby. Let's go. Let's get him in the truck and head back and get him in. All right, we're going to go now. We're going to head over to the truck right now. We've got him. Now we want to keep a firm grasp because he's got claws. He'll scratch me. That's why I'm wearing these gloves. I've got the long sleeve shirt. Now I've got a kennel in my truck, so let's get to it, guys. Let's head back over. All right, we're up on the truck now. I'm not feeling too good. I'm feeling a little bit queasy right now. I'm haven't had anything to drink. I'm gonna. I think. I think I'm. A, I think I'm gonna throw up. All right. I'm laying here, guys. I'm not feeling too hot right now. I'm casually, just laying here on the side of the road in the grass, not feeling too good. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Like I'm gonna pass out with a fox in my hand. Now, don't worry. I'm not grabbing him hard. I'm just holding him hard enough just to hold him, but not where I'm gonna hurt him. But all right, we're back in the truck. We've got him now. Hopefully, what he has is not distemper. Hopefully, we'll be able to cure him. He'll be all right. There's only one way to find out. We got to take him to Lloyd Brown, the wildlife rehabber, see what he has to say, because he is the expert in rehabbing uh, native wildlife here in South Florida. So, guys, I'll see you back at the truck. All right, here at the truck, I've got my trusty crate in the back. Thank you for opening it up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we've got him. All right, open the crate. Thank you. All right, we got to get him in. We're just going to kind of pull that blanket on out. We don't want to dirty the blanket on up. So we've got the fox in here. Now we're going to take him out of the net to get him on in. That's what we've got to do here. So we're just going to take him out of the net right now. We're keeping a, a firm grasp, a firm grip on him. But we got to wait for this car to pass by. We got a bunch of people looking and smiling at us. This is probably the first time they've ever seen anything like this. All right, so we're just going to start right now. We're going to take him out of the net right now. So we're just going to kind of see. All right, let's actually let's turn him around. Let's get him on out of the net because we don't want him to 
by accident. We don't want him to accidentally get out and bolt for it. All right, we've got him out of the net right now. We got him out, so we're just going to put him in the crate. One, two, three. Okay, he's in the crate. He's secured. He's locked in. And, well, wait for it. And he's in. He's looking all right, but he's looking a little bit tired. I'm sorry, buddy. We're here to help you. So we're just going to take this crate right now, and we're going to put him inside of the truck. We don't want him to overheat, but we're going to give Lloyd a call right now and uh, see what Lloyd has to say. All right, we made it to Lloyd's. We're here, and we're about to say our final farewells to the fox. Now, he's looking a little bit sad right now. He's looking a little bit injured. Let's open the crate up just so you guys can get a little bit of a look on him. Now, he's just sitting here, and you can see he's drooling from the mouth, and that's not a good sign. That's a sign of rabies, a sign of distemper. You can see that drool coming out. He's definitely a little bit dehydrated, so we're just going to close him on up. We don't want him to bolt for it, so guys, I'm so sorry that this happened to you, buddy. I'm hoping you're going to be okay, so... I'm sorry, man. I'm just so sorry. You're so well, I dropped the fox off to Lloyd about 30 minutes ago, and I unfortunately just got a text from Lloyd letting me know that as soon as I left, the fox started having seizures, and he had to euthanize it. Unfortunately, this is what has to be done due to the nature of the virus. There really is no cure for distemper, and the distemper can actually spread to other foxes. And in the area that this fox was found, well, there have been a lot of foxes recently found with distemper, which is leading to an overall decline in in the fox population so it's so sad that this happened but unfortunately it is what it is we tried to give the fox the best possible fighting chance but unfortunately nature had other plans and well that is going to end today's episode hope all of you guys did enjoy today's fox rescue despite it ending in such a sad way if you guys enjoyed today's video well please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up comment down below a prayer for this fox and guys if you're not subscribed yet you want to see more animal rescues you want to see tigers lions turtles and tortoises and all kinds of crazy animals well, guys all you got to do is go right now hit the subscribe button tap that little notification bell and you all be notified whenever I post.